So we have, uh, because we're in the beginning of the term, alhamdulillah, most of the questions that have to do with the courses have been answered. And we have a body of general questions. Um, <clears throat> and the one that uh, we can take is the one about um, uh, patience. Yeah. Um, it says, your reminder about sabr and its necessity for self-development reminded me of the last verse of Surah Al-Imran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اصبروا وصابروا ورابطوا واتقوا الله لعلكم تفلحون. Um, what is the difference between the first two directives? اصبروا وصابروا. What are some techniques, أعمال, we can indulge in that can increase our capacity for patience? Yes. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Uh, it seems that اصبروا is more personal here and sabaru is collective so we as individuals and as community have to be patient you know like for example this um, klt program so we need as individuals to be patient to have istiqama uh, we should not let anything distract us or stop us or slow down our progress. But if, for example, you as individual have this quality, but other people don't have this quality, again, you cannot succeed. So our duty is to be patient and to help others also to be patient so that as a group, we can be patient. Like, for example, if you are making a team for football each player should be patient but also each player should try to keep all the team patient otherwise he cannot succeed so esberu refers to personal patience vasaberu to mutual collective patience And but the second part was about practical instructions? Yes, the second part was what are techniques, a'mal, we can indulge in that can increase our capacity for patience? Uh, I think in one of the Q&A actually a few weeks ago, I talked a little bit about this when we had a hadith, hadith of Musa and Khidr. Uh, and I talked about patience and why we should be patient and how we should think uh, if you can uh, inshallah refer back, to that. refer back to that inshallah. but uh, basically we human beings get most of our spiritual psychological energy not from what we eat or drink we can eat the same thing or drink the same thing, but this can give limited energy. Most of our intellectual, spiritual, psychological energy comes from our thoughts. And if you think in a positive way, then not only you can use your energy you can add to your existing energy. It's amazing, you know, maybe inshallah, Allah helps me to clarify this once in future, inshallah. There is an ocean of energy as a reserve inside us. You don't need to borrow energy. Just by connecting yourself to that reserve, you can release energy. People who are determined and focused and persistent they have lots of energy. Nothing can defeat them. Nothing can weaken them or shaken them or make them withdraw. Where does this energy come from? Does it come from outside? No. It comes from inside. And that is the strength of the will and that they have. So patience means to remain persistent to release the energy that Allah has put inside you 
and remain in control of the situation. Because if you are impatient, you don't know what to do. And many times, I said this, I think, before, people or groups or even civilizations are destroyed by their own mistakes more than they are destroyed by enemies or external challenges. If I'm, I'm impatient, I myself destroy myself. I myself cause failure. By being patient, you have full control over your thoughts, your minds, your feelings, your emotions, and you address problems properly. Imagine there is, for example, a very dangerous uh, scenario in uh, driving, when you are driving, for example, a car coming from the opposite direction is coming to your face. If you are patient, you can possibly, not always, but possibly can find a solution, if there is a solution. You cannot do miracles, but if there is any solution, you can only find that solution if you are patient. But if you are not patient, you cannot find the solution, even if there is an obvious solution. What is important is in a spiritual matters, there is always solution. In physical matters, sometimes there is solution, and you can find it with patience. In a spiritual matters, in religious matters, in our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is always solution. Because limitations of the world of physics would not apply to the world of spirits. So patience is the key for success.